paragraphs, the essential part of every website. They are used to tell the user what your sections are made of and overall to tell them what your web page is all about. In this video, I'll show you how can you use paragraphs, spans and similar, so you can have a full control over your text on your website. When you take a look at this hero section here, you will notice that it has one heading and one button, but still lacks something. So let's add one paragraph in this section here. Let's select our parent div here and let's go to this bar above. Let's left click on the paragraph and we have brand new paragraph. Let's drag it under our heading. Now, when you added your paragraph, how can you edit text? You can either double click on your paragraph or you can just go to the settings panel and into content field you can input any text you like. We added our text to the paragraph but it's a bit sticked to this heading here so let's select our paragraph and go to the design panel so we can add a margin. This looks way better now, we have a bit of a breathing room there. You can also add variety of options to your tag and to demonstrate you that I'll select my paragraph then go to the typography panel and here I can choose of variety of options. But for this example let's change its line height, let's put it to 1.4 and you will notice that the space between my sentences is a bit smaller now. But enough with that, let's go and talk about some other tags here, let's talk about span, bold, small and mark. Let's begin with span. Span tags are used so you can highlight any part of the text you would like. So to demonstrate you this I'll select my paragraph and add two spans inside of it. Now let's go here and add two spans. You'll notice that my text disappeared and that's because I nested two spans inside of a paragraph tag. Now let's go to this span and go to a setting so we can put its content. So Let's break this whole sentence in two parts. For this example, I'll delete this part here and go to the second span so I can paste it again and then delete this first part. When you look at my paragraph now, it looks exactly the same. So why I did all of this work? Let me show you why. I will select my first span and let's edit it a bit. Let's go to the design panel so we can set some stylings to our span. Let's go with a background color, let's go with something like this, light grey for example. I can as well change text color, let's put white. And you will notice that my first sentence or my first span is highlighted. So to sum it up for spans, with a span you can isolate any part of the text you like. You can either isolate one word or you can isolate a group of words. You can also add variety of options to your spans in the stylings panel, so you have full control over your text. But enough with spans for now, let's talk about some additional tags. The next on our list is bold, so let's add it in our paragraph. Let's just go here and left click on it and at the first glance you can notice what's the difference. As its word says, it's bolded. Let's add some right spacing to our second span so we can make some separate space between bold and the span. Let's go to the settings panel so we can change the content of our bold tag. Let's type in some content here and you can notice that you can also change the text content of this tag. The next tag on our list will be small tag. Let's add it and at first glance you will notice that this tag is added outside of the paragraph. That's because you cannot nest this tag inside of a paragraph. Let's change its content as well and you can notice that the content of this tag is way smaller than the content in our paragraph. And that's the whole purpose of this tag. So you don't need to add classes to your paragraphs and to separately edit them to be smaller. You can just add some small tag and you're done. Let's go and talk of the last tag on our list. Let's go here and it's mark. Let's add it and you will notice that it's nested inside of the paragraph. You can also notice that it's the same as our span. It has background and text color. You're probably thinking, why shall you use mark above span? To answer you this question, I'll select my mark, go to the selector panel and let's select global here. Let's edit some stylings to our mark, let's change its background color for example, let's set this 
light cyan color and let's as well change text color. Let's go with black. Now, to answer on the question, why shall you use mark over span in certain situations? For that example, let's go to this section here. And for example, let's add one mark inside of this paragraph tag. You will notice right away that my mark have the same design here and here. That's because I edited all of my marks with a global selector. If I used span in this example, I would need to go here, copy my span and then paste it wherever I need it. And if I want to have it on multiple pages, I would need to use classes. So I don't need to go from page to page and find it so I can copy it. But all of that is additional work. You can just style your marks globally and just in one click reuse them wherever you need them. I will now clear all of this mess that I've made when I was explaining all of these tags. So I can show you another example. In this example, I'll show you that you can also use all of these tags here to edit headings as well. I'll use this H1 here and let's isolate this home word for this example. Let's just go here and copy all of this text so I don't need to type it from scratch and let's nest three spans here. Let's go with the first span and paste this whole sentence. So let's leave this first part here. Let's go to the second span and just type in home. And into a third span, I'll again paste whole sentence and just leave the third part. Now, we have the same structure in our H1 as before, but now we can edit the home word and first and the third part as well separately. Let's select home and let's set this text to be italic and I will as well change the text color of this pen. Let's set something like this purple here. And you will notice that we successfully isolated one word from our heading. I hope that you now understand what are the paragraphs and how can you use spans, bolds, marks and small tags. I also hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one.